was able to do that. You guys need to, you guys really need to pay attention. Everybody needs an alternative option. Sunday, July 14th. I am currently in Philadelphia. I just boarded a flight from Buffalo. Um, at six o'clock in the morning. And I'm headed back to Colombia. As the world knows, President Trump was almost assassinated yesterday. Um, and I got out of there immediately. Or I'm getting out of the United States immediately. Um, so I'm in Philadelphia right now and waiting to board my flight. Miami. I'm gonna go over here and um, board the flight from Miami to Cartagena. back to Cartagena, Colombia. Man, the airport was crazy. Man, the customs line, man, this is a hot spot. This is a real hot spot, man. Everybody coming here because the city is beautiful and it's a lot going on here. So it makes me feel good to be back and on the way to the Officina. So we can check it out. We haven't been here in over two months, so not looking forward to what's going on. But then also the big game, Colombia versus Argentina. A couple hours, man, getting ready for that. And um, I'm going to experience that game at um, with the locals, you know. So that's what I'm headed to do right now, man. Drop this stuff off. Try to put this episode together so we can keep this streak alive. And um, and then go watch the game. You know, go watch the game. So that's the plan. Back in Cartagena, boy. Feels good, man. It definitely feels good. See if we can get into the spot. We back. All Dreams HQ, baby. Man, it's that. Don't look that bad over here, man. We pack all dreams, baby. You already hear the music, they getting ready, they got the flags. 
Man, it's about to be a big day. AC popping off in the jaw. Officina. Whoo! Boy. Try to hang the hot, boy. Alright, man. So just got back. I would say I just got back home. Um and uh man the music is loud like i said you know um but i just wanted to finish this video off and i just want to say a couple of things really um first the update a few videos ago maybe i don't know it might have been my third or fourth video i did uh my first interview for uh an accelerator it was for a hundred thousand for my startup in exchange for five percent i went through the whole interview because i wanted to st i went through the whole interview process because i wanted to show you guys how to get into an accelerator and i'm going to be creating something for people that may want to to uh may want to start a company right i'm going through the process and i have a lot of information and other founders it's not going to tell you shit and nobody would tell me shit. So therefore, man, I want to help other people that want to be founders and build a company. They have an idea, they have a problem that they want to solve. I want to be able to help them possibly get into an accelerator and build a company, build a platform, build an app. And um, so I'm going to be working on that. Um, so that's an update. So I did not get into that accelerator. I would have had to be in Birmingham for 12 weeks. Uh, started starting in September. So I did not get in that. I don't have to go to Birmingham. I did not get the hundred K, you know, you know, but a lot of times it's not, it's, it's, it's not about the money. You know, it's not about the money What's meant for you is meant for you. And that's what, that's what it is. So that hundred K wasn't meant for me. And I'm cool with that. I went through this process and that's why I was in the United States. If anybody been watching, if you guys were watching my videos, you kind of, like been following this process, man. It's been up and down, like seriously, because I had two months in the States and man, listen, all the times wasn't good, you know, being in the States. Some of the times was good, spending time with my family, uh, my daughter's graduation, my daughter's prom, spending time with my, you know, my, my other two daughters, that was great. But being in the States is very eerie, very eerie. And bro, when, this whole thing with Trump happened, I was like, I'm, I'm out. I had already got rejected from the accelerator. I'm like, I'm out. Like, how many of you guys can say that you can do that, right? Where something happened, because I, I was really using it as a test, right? You know, I'm like, okay, if something happened and something did happen, now say it was worse, how fast can I get out of here or whatever? Um, and I got out of here the next morning, 5 a.m. I'm up, flight leave at 6, Philly, Miami, Cartagena, right? How fast can I get my family out of here? And if something happened and I was able to do that, you guys need to, you guys really need to pay attention. You guys really need to pay attention because um, you need, you need, I think everybody needs an alternative option just in case the shit goes down just in case the shit goes down. And I'm happy to have all dreams here in Colombia. You know, I'm happy to have all dreams in here, here in Colombia, my apartment upstairs, where it's like, yo, if shit hit the fan, I'm out of there, right? Yeah, so the last thing I'm gonna say is this. The last thing I'm gonna say is this, and I'm wrapping this video up because I'm getting ready to go watch the game. I will upload footage tomorrow that will be on tomorrow's episode. But listen, guys, you guys really need to start paying attention. Um, see, the guys that did 20 years in the military, they good. They getting their pension, they living out of the they, they living out of the states, they got their guaranteed money. 
guys trying to do IT, guys trying to do cybersecurity. Um, I'm not sure how stable that is, right? Especially with what's happening with AI and things like that. What I'm gonna say is this. Like I said, I've been working with, I've been working on this uh, hero story framework. And if I was to do it all over again, like I've started several businesses, including this one, I'm working on my startup right now. I think it's gonna be big, even though, you know, we, ain't, we didn't get the investments from those accelerators. I still think it's gonna be big. The platform is being built right now. Um, guys, you need to start telling your story, your hero story. I'm so serious because, and you need a presence online and you need to know how to make money online. And the easiest way to do that is to start with YouTube, but not start with the shit that you see other people doing. You need to start with your story and building your story of your origin and, and, and using your experience to give value to other people. Like seriously, you need to make money online. You need to learn how to do it. Like I said, I'm working on this hero story framework. Um, keep watching. Um, email me if you're interested. But I'm only going to be taking like five people. Uh, maybe every couple months because I'm working on my startup, right? But I want to help guys because, like I said, I've started several, several businesses. And the thing that has been um, the same with each business is I... I came with a story, you know, it was a story that was a part of it. And that's how each business gained some type of traction. The businesses, a lot of those businesses failed in my eyes because they didn't make millions of dollars, right? Because that was my vision. But um, you guys need to start paying attention. Um, that's the end of this video, but I had to do, I had to stay on track and post another a video today. So. That's the end of this video. I'm back in Colombia. You know what I'm saying? Look, we gotta erase this. We need new, we need new um, ideas. And man, like I can just feel the energy. Can you guys feel my energy? Can you guys feel my energy? God bless America. But right now, um, I'm gonna go watch the soccer game. Peace.